separate video, I will show that it's okay to begin again if you're not liking the direction of a piece. And by that, I mean completely paint over it and start over. For this example, I initially chose a poor quality reference image, which was actually a photo I took of a magazine cover on a rack at the grocery store. I decided to choose a better reference, in this instance a darker, more dramatically lit image. It also finally hit me at this point that I'm influenced greatly by Rembrandt since my parents had a huge book of his works that I stared at quite a bit as a child. If you're not familiar with this Dutch Golden Age painter, his works are highly dramatic in lighting, often with very dark backgrounds and a spotlight on his subjects. Anyway, moving on. Here I'm using Payne's Gray to cover my canvas since I'm switching to a dark background image. I'm mixing a little bit of glazing liquid in just for smooth application. It generally takes about four coats to cover your background thoroughly, and that holds true for any color, not just black, or in this instance, Payne's Gray. I like Payne's Gray because it's not starkly black, and it blends well into other colors for creating shades, and you can also mix it up yourself. There are different recipes out there, and it depends on your needs, but I use pretty much equal parts of Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue. This particular Payne's Gray is straight out of the tube, and it's golden. I'm also using short back and forth crisscross motion, which I have found covers with a nice even texture and finish, especially when doing multiple layers. I'm going to also take this opportunity to lament about my camera setup and experimentation. I was using my Android phone, which was taking great quality footage, surprisingly, but would often unexpectedly shut off, presumably for storage reasons. Also, it was a pain to then transfer the footage to my laptop, having to physically plug it in and open transfer software. So, I got a Logitech webcam, which was much easier to set up and would record directly to my laptop. The image quality was less, but I decided that that was an okay sacrifice in order to get the footage easily. Now, Logitech has a corresponding software called Logic Capture. It allows me to adjust focus and white balance and such on the camera, but what it won't do is remind me to hit record. Or if I do remember to hit record, alert me if I don't have my selected recording location connected, which in this case is my external terabyte drive. So after a few times of forgetting to hit record, and then several more times of actually hitting record, only to discover that I had not plugged in my recording location, I gave up on the webcam. I bring this up because most of this repaint was sadly not captured. My current recording setup is ideal for small journal pages, but not for recording canvases. So when I don't capture footage that I think I did after all the hard work of getting the setup rigged just right, it's infuriating. Moving forward, I will be using an old iPhone that I was using just to access my Apple Watch. That way, it can stay in its recording station and I'll be back to better quality footage. I can't record directly to my laptop that I can tell, but it uses AirDrop to send the files to my laptop via Wi-Fi so at least I don't have to mess with plugging stuff in. I'm not quite to the point of investing in more expensive equipment, so for now this will have to do, and hopefully I will remember to hit record and not miss any vital recordings. Once I have my canvas covered in Payne's Gray and it's dry, I transfer my image using Serral white transfer paper which works great on dark backgrounds. I have my skin tone colors pre-mixed and ready to go on a graduated scale from darkest dark, excluding the background, to the lightest light, roughly about 8-10 to 10 steps of difference between each color. I start by laying down the dark areas, then the light areas, and then begin layering in all of the mid-tones going back and forth until I'm happy with the outcome. As I noted earlier, I did not get to film this process in its entirety, but at the end you'll see the final outcome quite different from where I started. Go ahead, give yourself a do-over. Give yourself several if you have to. You've got nothing to lose. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.